Hello Shed family. Isn't it uh, funny how that's how I start all my videos? Well, uh, you probably didn't know, but now you will. Uh, a big part of our business is uh, engineered steel buildings. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, not just uh, sheds. I know we talk a lot about sheds, and we need to start talking more about our engineered steel buildings. Um, because that's a big part of our business, and there's a lot of misinformation out there. So we're going to do a anywhere from two to four part series on our engineered steel buildings, and it's going to start now. So what we have here is, I would say maybe a tiger, maybe a calico, I'm not sure. Um, hey, are you friendly? Oh my gosh, what's up, sir or ma'am, or ma'am or sir? Got a little burr there? <clears throat> Got it. You're welcome. I appreciate you. Okay, this, this, uh, let's see. Whoop! Oh, it's a boy. This boy's friendly. Okay, anyways. Uh, this is not a video on how to sex a cat. So, this pad right here is 56 by 52. So, what's actually going on here, for the time being, is a 30 by 50 engineered steel building. It's going to have 14 foot sidewalls. Hey, buddy. I got a friend now. A companion. Um... Eight frame vertical, rough vertical siding, all that good stuff, wainscoting. So, uh, anyways, we'll take a little bit and we'll talk about this pad for a second. So, they are planning on doing a lean-to later on, which is why there's 12 extra feet here. And then the 12 feet in the front, which you can see is that darker color because it's broom finished. That's just a drive-up for their doors. So, you can see here what they did. This is a 6-inch pad with rebarb. You can see they have these 2 by 2 foot footings every six feet I believe now these are two foot by two foot and they go 48 to 52 inches in the ground so um, 48 was a minimum of their auger 52 was a max so you can see they got some nice footings here this is an agricultural building for their goat stuff so it's not needed to permit anyways but they still did that so the building will be properly anchored to this six inch pad so we're just kind of walking around the outline of uh where these where the building is going to be so you can see when we get up here this is their broom finish where this is just an encroachment you can see it kind of angles down this is where they're going to have two 12 by 12 doors on this side and this is kind of going to be where they drive in maybe a little sitting area who knows i guess we'll find out together won't we all right so you can see them they kind of go all the way around here um this is i guess for water or electric later it's uh piping starts right where they put that and comes in here what do you think of this pad come on one time really okay he says it's good to go guys so anyways as we finish here so this thing right here is like a 14 by 14 little encroachment they're gonna have a 14 by 14 door here a big door in case maybe they ever have a camper or anything so moving on, they also have a drain in this pad. A lot of tire marks, guys. So they also have a drain in this pad, which drains out there. So anyways, guys, wow, I got, sorry, not, not trying to show you guys a cat, but this is the friendliest cat I've ever seen. He cuts right in between your legs and you gotta watch it so you don't trip. There's all the dirt that came out of the holes. Guess somebody's moving that in the next couple of days. All right, so anyways, here is the pad. So guys, I know we don't talk a lot about steel buildings, but we're gonna start now. So I want you to see the process of a steel building and it starts with a level install surface. This one is concrete. You can also install them on gravel pads too. There may be different requirements by your municipality for footings or anchors, but anyways. So tomorrow morning, knock on wood, we're gonna start putting a building on here, 30 by 50 by 14. And I'm gonna let you guys in on that process a little bit. You know me, I don't edit videos, I just kind of hold the phone. I'm not computer savvy, but we will get in there. Now, price-wise, so this pad, um, 50, 56 this way, 52 that way, um, that encroachment um, right there also, and the footings was $20,000. Oh, why are you hissing? Oh, another one. Guys, play nice. Okay, I am making a video and I demand 
that you guys be friends. All right, so this pad was $20,000 to give you an idea. Six inch thick, footings all the way around that go around 48 inches deep up to 52. So guys, I just wanted to show you this. It's getting kind of dark out. Tomorrow is potentially the install date. I gotta check some things, but uh, anyways, here it is. So guys, follow us on this journey. Um, oh my gosh, there's an, an, another cat. Don't fight. Be all their friends everybody's friends on this channel all right so anyways guys um there will be another video to this series um where we go over a little bit maybe an in-process video to give you an idea now this building should be put up in about two days it is an engineered building what that means it is not a glorified carport by any means this is going to be 12 gauge steel um with 26 gauge panels this is going to be a nice building but basically engineered means that the building has been engineered at the steel manufacturer which we have one right here in michigan as well as one in indiana and so the pieces are already going to be pretty much engineered to put together there's not going to be a lot of trim fitting or cutting so it's not going to take forever a couple of days um this this building will be up and we'll follow that process so stay tuned guys um we're also we're gonna we're gonna make friends with all these cats okay we got to know every every detail this one doesn't look very friendly um she's running away from me but Hey. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. Man, you look like you need some food. What are you doing, Mama Bear? Or Daddy Bear? All right, guys. Well, thank you for tuning in, and follow us on the next one. And uh, there will be more details to come on steel buildings. All right, have a great day. Or catch you on the next one, I should say.